Hi, I'm Karen Wolf, and I'm a play therapist. And what I do is Nandi and I here, we, we work with kids and families to help when, when things feel hard and to help understand where those big feelings are coming from. And the way that we do that is through play. So I want to show you my playroom and the way that I play with kids and families, especially when we're doing it over the video. So first of all, I'll introduce you to Nandi. Nandi's a mini golden doodle and he can do a couple little tricks. So sometimes kids will help me to play tricks with him. So Nandi, paw. Good boy, Nandi. Good boy. And he's very sweet and he loves to lick faces. Let me show you some of the toys that I have in the office. And there's all kinds of ways that we figured out about how to play with these games over video. And of course, if you have any toys that you like playing with, I love to play with the toys that you have and that you love. Um, so let me show you some of the things that we have here. Uh, so we have a whole bunch of games over here love to play uno and cards over video we have some cool board games including sorry right here and Moncala and connect four and zingo oh jenga i really love to play jenga over here we have what we call the sand tray shelves sand tray shelves and on these shelves we have all kinds of toys and we can pick these toys and play with them and so we might even use the sand tray where you could show me where you want them in the sand there's also a virtual sand tray which i'll show you right now and then i'll show you a little bit more about the toys in the office so this right here is the virtual sand tray. And it, it, it works in exactly the same way as, our, as the regular sand tray. There's the sand tray right there. And there's all the little items in here. And let's see, maybe we wanna pick a horse and maybe we wanna put it here. And maybe we wanna turn it this way. And maybe we wanna bury it. Oh, all the way buried and we can unbury it. Uh, and so we can make sand trays that way. And I can also give you the controls, depending on what kind of computer you're on. And if the controls don't work, I can give you the link so that you can actually pick which items go in the sand tray. And what we like to do with sand trays is to build a world. Sometimes building a world can help us understand what's happening inside of our world inside of our families, doing online school or in-person school or seeing friends or not getting to see them in person. And, and also just to, to get to play and, and create, create worlds together. So this is one way using the virtual sand tray. I'll show you some other online games that we play in a minute, but first I wanna show you a little bit more of the toys that we have in the office. So a lot of times, we like to play with puppets. So I have all kinds of really cute puppets. Nandi loves puppets. He loves to eat them, actually. So <laughs> that's not true. He just likes to bite them and play with them because he thinks they're fun. But we can do puppet shows and you could bring your stuffies and my stuffies could talk to yours. Love to use kamochis. Sometimes we'll use the kamochis to help us understand what we're feeling. We have a kamochi chart right here and I also have a digital one that I like to share, help us figure out what we're feeling. Like maybe there's a little bit of mad inside and we can understand what the mad has to say to us. Or maybe there's something that makes us feel loved and we can see what the loved has to say. Also like to do dress up. So dress up is really fun. I have a lot of things that we can dress up as. It can be a dinosaur. Arr! And I also have a lot of books. So if there's any books that, that you want to read of mine, we, I can read them to you. Invisible String is one that a lot of kids like to read. Don't Feed the Worry Bug is a really good one. 
aunts, anger, so many books. And also have a baby doll right here. And then over, over here is the art table. So we could do drawing, we can draw pictures together. And the really cool thing about doing things online is we can also draw using the whiteboard. So I can share the whiteboard just like this. And I could draw and then you could draw. We can take turns. We can make lists. We can do all kinds of cool things using the whiteboard. One more thing I want to show you before I go is another online game that I have that is um, really, 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 really fun. So let me see. Let me get it. It's called Everyday Speech. And on this game platform, there's all kinds of games. So I'll just show one to you, um, but there's all kinds that you can choose. And again, depending on your computer, I can give you the controls so that you can be the one to, to push play and whatnot. And so if we were gonna play this game, this is what it would look like. We would do two players. We would start the game. It's it's we would pick our our pawns and and then when we would start, player one gets to start. Maybe that would be you, and then maybe you'd pick this card, and then it gives different questions, and then we answer it. So this one says, How can you join a conversation about family vacations? This is the topic of this game. Each game has a different topic and different things. And then beautiful. And then you'd get to move. And this is just one of the games on on this platform. There's actually so many. So I'll I'll stop sharing there. So those are just a few of the things that we can do together. And I really love to play with kids. I think that it's really important for kids to have time and space where they get to be in charge because so many times in life kids don't get to be in charge you don't get to choose when you wake up what food you eat if you get to see your friend and that doesn't feel good and sometimes those icky feelings can come out in ways that that we don't want them to and and so playing can help us to understand why those feelings are coming out and help us to feel good together and and when I play with families, it helps me understand what happens in the family so I can help parents to understand how to, how to, how to play with kids in this way that feels really good and how to, how to, you know, sometimes parents do have to say no and how to do that in a way that still, you know, feels good to kids and helps them feel loved and cherished. So if you have any questions, I am always happy to answer any of your questions. And I look forward to meeting you. Okay, Nandi is very excited. He is right here. And see, you can see he played, he got, he picked some kamochis. I think maybe he has a lot of feelings right now. That's why he's picking them. All right, well, I look forward to meeting you.